Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this Pokemon Crystal Q&A slash uh, training montage thingy. And first off, I would just like to thank everybody who showed up at today's stream on Twitch. And uh, there was a lot of technical difficulties and stuff, which I apologize for. But yeah, I also apologize that this episode is up a lot later than usual. For some reason, Camtasia decided to screw up on me twice. And uh, yeah, I had to record this a little bit later, which sucked. But I got it done, so I'm happy. I hope it's okay with you guys, because... Yeah, I'm sorry it's later, but I managed to get it done, and my throat is, like, really dry for some reason, so you'll have to excuse me if I sound a little bit hoarse, I guess. Anyway, Q&A time, and as you can see, uh, it's made, the, may, uh, <laughs> the video may look a little bit skippy, and that's because I was, uh, speeding up with Camtasia, so, or not Camtasia, with, uh, well, I did speed up with Camtasia after, but I was speeding up with the Visual Boy Advance, like, speed up button, so it may look a little bit, like, choppy or whatever. Or, like, I may rush into battles real quick and stuff. But that is because I was speeding up. So anyway, I should probably get started on the Q&A, because this is what this is. That was just, like, a really long intro. <clears throat> for no reason. And yeah, my, my throat keeps going a little bit dry, so I apologize. Anyway, the first question comes from uh, TV97, and he asks, Will Pokemon Sapphire be your next Let's Play? No. Not Pokemon Sapphire. And that's not next, anyway. But... Next up, I'm going to be doing a... Well, I may as well ask this next question. So, the next question comes from James O'Malley. And it's like, what is your next Let's Play? So, these two sort of, like, come in together, I guess. And I will be doing a Generation 2 hack that I actually haven't decided on yet. I'll be signing tomorrow before I record the final episode of Pokemon Crystal. And uh, just getting everything ready for that. So, I haven't quite decided yet. It will be a Generation 2 hack. There is one I've seen. I can't remember what it's called, but I, it looks pretty good. So... I think I may be playing that, but I'll have to see tomorrow if I can find it, and if I decide to play it, because it looks pretty good to me, uh, it could be a lot of fun. Like, playing hacks of games that, well, usually Generation 3 is the most hacked game, but playing a hack of a game that, or a generation that's not, like, majorly hacked could be a lot of fun. I mean, Team Rocket Edition was a lot of fun, and, uh, sorry if I'm breathing, like, really loudly, too. My nose is a little bit blocked, so... Uh, Generation, Generation 2 does not have a lot of hacks, neither did Generation 1, that's why I did Team Rocket Edition, and yeah, that's pretty much it, so you'll see on Tuesday, more than likely, what game I'm going to play. So, next up, this question comes from Dat Frozone, and he asked, if you could battle any Pokemon YouTuber, who would it be? Well, there is a lot of YouTubers I would like to battle, or Pokemon-based YouTubers I would like to battle, so it's a pretty tough question. Uh, for the Elite Four Charity Water, I did get to battle Shofu twice on Pokemon Online, but that was Battle Factory, so that wasn't with actual teams, but it was still fun to battle against him. It was cool because I watched Shofu. He's one of the people that like got me into competitive battling and stuff, so it was cool to get to battle against him. If it was to battle anyone, it would probably be... probably Maryland or Jaywitz, honestly. I, I don't know, there's something about those two that make me like, think they're, they're so alike, but I think... Yeah, I'd love to battle against Maryland or Jay Wits on Pokemon Showdown. I think that'd be a lot of fun. And uh, maybe, you know, someday I could probably get that done. It really depends on how busy they are, I guess, and if they ever, like, see me asking them or whatever. But, yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun. And hopefully I may get to that in the future. You know, you never know. I could, I could have already recorded it by now. Just saying. But I haven't. But I could have. You know, you, you don't know. Okay? So... Uh, next question comes from uh, JC Davrit, and he asked, uh, Pokemon you've always wanted, but never got in the game. Now, I'm not sure if this just refers to this Crystal Nuzlocke, but I've always wanted to get, like, a Milk Tank, and I've never got one. I've also wanted to train up a Tauros. I've never got to train up one of those either, so, I mean, I think they'd be a lot of fun to train up. I never really used one, and I think it'd be a lot of fun, even though they're both normal types, but I think that would be really cool, and, uh, yeah, using one of those would be a lot of fun, so... I know, I was kind of hoping I'd get one of those in uh, this game, but unfortunately for me, I did not. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't get them, but for future games, I guess, uh, I'm not really sure. I usually, like, if I want to get a Pokemon, I usually, like, go out of my way to try and get it. But because this was a Nuzlocke, I didn't really get the opportunity to do that. I had to go with the first Pokemon I found on a route. So, yeah, I didn't get either of those, but usually if I do want to get a Pokemon, I usually just, like, go out of my way to try and get it. Except for, actually, Munchlax I've wanted to use in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, but that took me, like, that would take forever, because it's, like, certain honey trees that Munchlax comes to, so that'd be pretty hard. 
unless you just uh, breed it to Snorlax, but then I believe the Lax Incense, which would get you a uh, Munchlax. So yeah, it's not that hard to get Munchlax that way, but if you wanted to go about the way of getting it through a honey tree, then yeah, that would be rather difficult. Gregory Masher asks, will you do a Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke? <clears throat> okay, this is really annoying. I know my throat is like sort of blocked up, but luckily my cough is gone. I just need to like sort of cough to clear it. It's not a cough, but it's just like a sort of blocked throat or whatever, which is annoying. But anyway, yeah, will I do a Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke? I've been considering it. I think that would be really fun. It's a big challenge though, honestly, with uh, Pikachu as your starter and stuff. So you're kind of banking on getting a Nidoran or a Mankey on the route beside Viridian City. Otherwise, you'd have to train a Butterfree up to like level, I'd say nearly 20, just so you could be guaranteed to take out a uh, take out Brock's Onyx or his Geodude. Even though maybe not 20, I think maybe 15, 16 would be good enough. You just have to worry about that because they have like Rock Throw, so they could pretty much dominate you in no time flat. Your Butterfree would only take like two Rock Throws at most. So I mean, it's really down to whether you can get certain Pokemon. To advance on. Otherwise, that after Brock, I'd say it'd be pretty easy. But up until Brock, it would be a pretty difficult challenge, honestly. And I would like to undertake it sometime, but I'll have to see if I get around to it in the future. So, Dooney Gaming asks, "How do you get so pro at Nuzlocke?" Well, honestly, this is like my first Nuzlocke, or at least my first recorded Nuzlocke. And I don't know. I just uh, for Nuzlocke, it's a little harder, I guess, than playing regularly. You kind of have to, um, like, strategize a little bit, I guess. Not too much, but there has to be... If you have to know your stuff, really. You can't go in there and expect some everything to go smoothly because something will go wrong. And as you saw with my battle against Blue, I lost my Feraligator, which I didn't expect to happen. I didn't expect to lose anything. I, well, I was nervous going in there because, of course, he's, like, the last gym leader, so he's going to be pretty hard to take on, but... I didn't think I would lose anything. I mean, critical hits. If you think critical hits screw you over in a normal game, just in Nuzlocke, they do it a lot worse. So, I mean, there's a strategic side to it, which I like. Having to grind a lot can be annoying, but, like, the training... Sometimes it's better to go in under level, actually, just so the challenge is a little bit harder, I guess. But, yeah, I mean, there's... It's... Yeah, you kind of have to look at things from a more strategic standpoint, I guess, and expect the unexpected, because if it can happen, it will happen. As I said, like, at the end of that episode where Chomp died, I mean, the Nuzlocke giveth, the Nuzlocke taketh away. It just, it can turn on you at any moment, so, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm pro at it, I just got rather lucky, I suppose, which is something that you may need sometimes in a Nuzlocke. So, um, Eli Oriviera, or, or Riviera, sorry, or Riviera 15 asks, How old am I? I'm 20. And do I go to college? Nope. I did not go to college, which sucks, because all my friends go to college, and I'm just sitting at home the whole time, which sucks. So, yeah, I would like to go to college, but I didn't really get the necessary, like, results, so that's my own fault for, like, slacking off in school. So that should be a lesson to you guys. Don't slack off in school, or else you could be like me and play Pokemon games at home, which... Actually, doesn't sound too bad, but, you know, it's... Your friends get to have all these experiences that you won't, because they go to college and you don't. So it's kind of like, you know, on the fence, I guess, in regards to that. So, uh, Muhammad Akik asks, Favorite wrestler? Uh, that would be Daniel Bryan. I think he's probably the most entertaining guy in the WWE right now. So, Daniel Bryan is my favorite wrestler. He's been my favorite for about three years now since he was on NXT. Or that was, yeah, three years ago, that was like 2010. So yeah, he's been my favorite for a while. Really enjoy him. He's like one of the best like actual wrestlers. I'm not really, I don't really care too much about characters and stuff, whether a guy is good or bad. I actually prefer like the actual wrestling aspect. So guys like Jack Swagger, Dolph Ziggler, Chris Jericho, CM Punk, they're the guys I like the most. But then I do like some of the entertaining guys like The Rock and some other guys, I guess. There's Daniel Bryan is kind of in both of those because he can wrestle really well, and he's very good entertaining. Fandango is probably another one that would be good for the entertainment aspects and stuff, so yeah. Alright, so next up is uh, thoughts on Go-Goat, and I think Go-Goat looks awesome. I hope you guys select Froki whenever I do like a poll on X and Y, or X or Y, whenever I say I'm going to record it, because I want 
Go Goat, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Go Goat looks awesome. Being a right, able to ride on him looks awesome. And I hope I get to do that with every other Pokemon. What do you think, or who do you think will be the bad guys at X and Y? And what do you think the life lesson will be? I don't know, actually. I, you can't really guess what they're going to be. So that's sort of like a hard question to answer. And the lesson, I guess, would be treat your Pokemon with respect, I suppose. I don't know. You can't really, like, guess. That's not really guesswork. So, next up is, uh, what do, what do I think of first person shooting games? I don't like them. And finally, Paul17123 has two questions, and he says, Which Pokemon ROM hack or even normal Pokemon game are you doing next? Already answered at the start. Uh, you'll see on Tuesday. I don't know yet, but you'll see. And, uh, next normal game I'm doing is Pokemon Emerald after I do that hack. And finally, do you still like ice cream? What flavor? Yes, I love ice cream, and I still love mint chocolate chip. So, I think I'm pretty much near the end of this leveling up. I did train all my Pokemon up to level 60. I'd just like to thank you guys for all your support that you've shown me over the past few months. It's been absolutely amazing. I know some of you have been here for a long time. I know some of you may only be here for a few hours, but like I said, subscribe to me for a few hours. But today I reached 1,400 subs, which is awesome. So thank you guys so much. It really means a lot. I try my best to get videos out every day, and if I can't, I'll usually tell you why, but yeah, this one was a little bit late because of Camtasia and stuff, which sucks, but tomorrow is the big day, so we'll be taking on Red, and that's pretty much going to end it here, 